Good afternoon, Supernaturals. Good, Good afternoon. afternoon. <laughs> now, we've talked about states of matter. We've talked about solids, liquids. What do we have left? Billy? Gases. Gases is correct. What do we already know about gases? I know that there's a marine creature that farts in its own mouth. What? It's called a sea lily. <laughs> a sea lily. Hmm. Is that a real fact? <laughs> Billy? Did you know that a professional fart smeller is a job in China? <laughs> I reckon you'd be pretty good at that job, Billy. Uh, probably <laughs> not. <laughs> I love your facts so much. It's funny you should mention farts because today we're going to be talking about the way that gas helps to fart things up in the kitchen. Now, puff pastry is a perfect example of this. This is puff pastry. Who's eaten it before? Brilliant. Now, the way that puff pastry works is that it starts out like regular dough. So it's just layers of flour and butter and water. But the key is lamination, which is layering layer upon layer, just like this. Now that looks pretty unimpressive, doesn't it? Mm. Super flat. But what do you think happens as soon as it goes in the oven? Joseph? It expands. It expands, absolutely. So each one of those layers traps pockets of air and when it goes in the oven and the heat hits it, the gases expand and push the layers apart so you get something that looks like this. Have a look, in between each layer of the pastry, you've got these little air pockets and guess what that feels like in your mouth? Maddie, popping bubbles. Popping bubbles, I love that. Crunchy, and you can even hear it. If it's a really good puff pastry, you can hear the crunch. <laughs> Yum town. Now, how can we apply this knowledge in the kitchen? Maddie? We'll now know how to make puff pastry and how to make it rise. Very good. Billy? We'll be able to make yummier foods. <laughs> yes. That won't just all fall apart. Absolutely. Jonathan? We'll understand farts better. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of true, because our gut is a little bit like an oven. Billy, is that something you want to share with the class? Um, yeah, all right. Um, my sister won't stop farting really loud and smelly, and she keeps blaming me and my dad. Well, believe it or not, everybody farts up to like 20 times a day. It's just that some farts don't smell like anything, and other farts smell terrible. And often it's because of what you're eating and how it breaks down. If you know that some vegetables and fruits and other foods make you gassy, then you just have to eat other things that make it a little bit better. Jerusalem artichoke is a really good example of an ingredient that's known for its farty powers. That's why people call it the fartichoke. You can either leave it overnight in a little bit of water or you can eat it with fart reducing foods like tomatoes. So if you eat lots of the brassica family, you basically are eating power food. Sulfur is essential for life. It helps grow protein for cells, tissue, hormones. It's especially important for you guys when you're growing. Mmm. 